The one that stands out the most for me is when I did a Christmas gig that got delayed by an hour because a woman got stuck in a giant ceramic pot. <laughs> Freddie was trying to cook her. <laughs> This girl was, they had two big ceramic pots either side of the bar, right? And this girl decided, young girl, about early 20s, I would say, um, quite fit, doesn't matter. Um, so. Well, she didn't quite fit. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're setting this up, it's like, oh no, stepbrother, I'm stuck in a giant ceramic pot. <laughs> Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. We're going on tour. We're watching on, you know, let's not do this, right? So, Dead Men Talking, we're going on tour. In May 2023, we're going to six venues across the country. We are going to be in, in Glasgow, Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, and London. And if you're not from one of those places, travel. <laughs> get a train. Oh, yeah. shit. Don't get a train. Now the strikes. Get a car. Work it out. But uh, tickets are on sale now. They're available at deadmentalpod.com. Go get those tickets. Come see us on tour. It's going to be live stand up and it's going to be loads of fun if you you're a fan of the podcast you'll love it you only have to sit through rob for three quarters of an hour and then yeah. you get to watch me mm, yeah so if you want to see a live heart attack come to the tour hello and welcome to dead men talking with me rob mulholland a big and fat Freddie cunt Quinn. Freddie and Quinn. a not gay tom freddie quinn freddie quinn yeah freddie quinn freddie freddie Fr still doing the big fat cunt thing <laughs> yeah you really thought i'd get tired of this yeah and instead it's turning to the two ronnie's fucking <laughs> Just as long as it's not like Ronnie's son, we're all right. <laughs> hey, I forgot that he was a paedophile. Yeah. I say I forgot, I didn't know. Yeah, uh, we've just, we've uh, got a Patreon episode again. Don't know if it was out before this episode. It would have after. been out before. Right, okay, where we had a little look at, uh, we, we found a set of top Trumps cards for British paedophiles. Turns out yeah. Ronnie Barker's son in there. And also, not a big hitter. No, no, he was one of the more gentle pedos. <laughs> I don't, by that, I don't mean he was a gentle lover. I mean, he was like... He might have been. Didn't say. Didn't specify, hey, did it? I have no clue. If you were shagged by Ronnie Barker's son as a kid, let us know how gentle he was. Mm. Uh, comment below. That's I'm just well, trying to drive engagement. If you're if you're <laughs> Ronnie Barker's son, yeah. you really, you've got an awful lot handed to you there. You really have fucking one hand on the throne of British comedy already. Yeah. You, you just you, have to not fuck kids. That's a Nepo baby. You know, he's a Nepo fucked babies. Oh, is that... Is, Nepotism, Is, is yeah. that what they call him, Nepo baby? Like Nepo Brooklyn kids. Beckham? Yeah, yeah, he's a Nepo kid. Where yeah. Brooklyn... It's like his Brooklyn... photography book, do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> like where one of them was like, elephants are cool but very hard to photograph and then just the shittest <laughs> photo of an elephant has ever been it's like yeah well maybe don't fucking photograph them and put them in your photo book then you little spanner also as well what is he on about they're fucking massive yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean they're up to photo damn I've missed it again yeah no because you're always you, you're trying to photograph an elephant they're just too rapid like, <laughs> that elephant's gone they're it's also, out of there yeah, you're also just, really well concealed aren't they in that yeah, desert yeah, yeah. you just you're going through your fucking thing and it's just reams and reams of amazing pictures of cheetahs <laughs> blurry <laughs> elephants <laughs> <laughs> An amazing blue whale. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn. Just, mm. I, yeah, I mean, I actually felt a little bit, I don't want to say sorry for Brooklyn Beckham, no one should feel sorry for Why? him. But a here's shit the thing: name. is that, over for that. Yeah. he can't he can't help the fact that his dad is David fucking Beckham. Sure, but he could be better at photography. I know, but he's just <laughs> he's just started something, hasn't he? Yeah, but don't when publish you, the book then. Make an Instagram account. Work up. No, I know, but if if it was Brooklyn Beckham's Instagram account, you'd know that every cunt would go on it and every cunt would rip it to shreds. Like he's not been allowed to be shit. I mean, having said that, I probably feel more sorry for all the photographers that are really good. Good. And get nowhere. And get yeah, nowhere. Exactly. I, I don't know if he's got that much of sympathy. Like, the name is the only thing. It's weird being named after a place your mum got railed. Yeah. Like, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Old Wigan Quinn over here. Yeah. <laughs> Wigan Pier Quinn. <laughs> Wigan Pier. His real, you know, Freddie is actually a stage name. His real name is Little Bins. <laughs> <laughs> That's old, also old also, bus stop Tom over there. <laughs> Little Bins is <laughs> Little Bins is also my rap name. Yeah. <laughs> Little Bins. <laughs>
Uh, but yeah, I don't feel any sympathy for any of them. But what was funny recently, though, was uh, Lily Allen started, uh, she was like, let's make a list of nepotism babies. It's all you! just like, you! <laughs> Who the fuck you on about? At first, when I see you smile, it <laughs> makes me... Oh, fuck off, Lily Allen. She I was fucking, dreadful. I like a big fan, though. Are you? I like, I'm really into Lily Allen. I think she's fit as fuck. I think her first album was pretty good. Yeah, it? it was all right. She had a couple really? of catchy tunes. I am biased Sunny's by me the knob. Sky, oh, why, oh, why was I want to be? It's like a, a, a child singing. They had that song about a brother always wanking. That was yeah. good. That one where she's angry at a guy for not making her come. Oh, yeah. yeah so it's one. just one thing that's getting in yeah. the way. When I spent ages giving heads. Yeah. Oh, I've laugh. been sucking dick all afternoon and you've got a small willy. Yeah. It's like a country western one. That was all right. That was when I resonated with that. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my yeah. guys have sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a song about women not coming. <laughs> Something I can relate to. <laughs> <laughs> he is wet ass pussy he's like what's this what do you mean wet pussies been, aren't wet has she been swimming <laughs> dry or puss puss has she spilt something is that, another one, is that another one of your street songs dry, dry or puss puss <laughs> <laughs> I like it bone dry <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I don't like Lily Allen very much. All oh, right, well I do. I don't like her that much. I think she's I'd like just... to have sexual intercourse with her. That's yeah. disgusting. Know, yeah. reach out, she... Shall we reach out to her? Yeah, let's if you know Lily Allen. Allen. <laughs> Lily Allen, Lily Allen. Got... Do you know what? Actually, I'll say this about Lily Allen. I don't like her, but I only don't like her because she's uh, famous and not very talented. If she is. <laughs> Sorry, if <laughs> if she was here and we had a pint, I bet we'd get on like a house on fire. I mean, yeah. not after I just said that, yeah. but as a person, she's all right. I just think she's done very well off the back of nothing. Like, for example, she got very lucky that she uh, was the right age for that whole young British girls that are talking when they're singing. Yeah, she's also Keith Allen's daughter. So, you know, I think that was the main yeah. thing that and broke were, down some doors. were quite original as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, she had a bit different. of like, you know, a bit of, a, bit of fun to them. She yeah, had trainers on a lot. Yeah, but, but there was a lot of like that, you know, she fucking... I don't know what you mean. There was the same Kate type Nash. of... Nash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are so bit art. It was the same yeah. period as that. Uh, Adele started around there. Duffy was a thing then, before the no, unpleasantness. But it was all the Brit school Duffy, thing, wasn't Duffy it? could sing, though, couldn't yeah, she? Yeah, got me begging me for mercy. Yeah, you will be doing Why soon. won't you release me? Oh, yeah. yeah. If anyone yeah. doesn't know where uh, Duffy got kidnapped for ages, it was really sad. And then she just left the... In- she just left well, she, the- could, she didn't, didn't leave anyone. the industry. She got kidnapped for ages. She was like, she was like held hostage. She came back. So so how long did she get held hostage for? I don't know. Though? We're going to have to Google this. But she like, obviously, like, even if the, the hostage taking wasn't years, it took her a while to recover, yeah. you know, from the hostage taking. Mm. It's not like you get unchained from the radiator and you're immediately like, right, top of the pops. Because that's <laughs> very thought- much out of the frying pan. <laughs> I've, into the fire. I've thought I've thought of so many new lyrics. Um, Grammy Award winning singer Duffy reveals she was drugged and raped after being held captive by an attacker. Yeah. Fucking So yeah, she was uh, uh, so she was away she was held captive over some days. And then yeah, it took her a couple of years to recover. Obviously, you're not gonna bounce back from that shit fucking quickly. Oh brutal. Sh- Absolutely fucking horrible. Do you know what I think is brutal as well? Is that how little record companies have got behind her since she's come back. Yeah. yeah. The- but no one likes a grass. <laughs> It's like Amy Winehouse singing about rehab, though. She was singing about wanting to break free. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, at the British, she won British Best Breakthrough. Mm, she didn't, though. <laughs> best Breakout, you read it wrong. Best Break. <laughs> I feel sorry for her, that's all. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah. Why do you say that like a surprise? <laughs> I've never felt... Surprisingly, I feel I've, sad for her. I've, Most of my I've victims honestly, I don't care about at all. I've never felt empathy before. This is, this is, a, this is a breakthrough. I really feel here. sorry for Duffy. Yeah, it's horrible what happened to Duffy. I'm going to tweet her. Don't know. <laughs> Don't think you'll help. <laughs> what do you mean? Sorry you got drugged and raped. Yeah, I don't know if that's the tweet you want to read over breakfast. Sorry. I think she probably wants to move on with her day. Well, it's dinner now, isn't it? So. <laughs> Sorry you got drugged and raped. Do you know Lily Allen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, did you not like... All right, okay. So, I'm just going to spitball this. Oh, God. Here comes some victim blaming. No, no, no. It's not, it's not blaming. I'm just saying, <laughs> if she did do... Has she done a drug and rape song? 
like about it. I don't think she's done any songs since. She has done some since. She came. No, back, but, I'm but, sure. but, but if she'd titles? have done, yeah, have a little uh, doff it like have a little, like just get a Wikipedia. If she'd have done a I was drugged and raped, yeah. but I came over it and I'm a strong woman thing. No, she did a that would fucking pop. That she fly. did a duet with Terry Waits. I don't know who that is. It's the <laughs> guy got chained to a radiator in the eighties. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Very funny. Well, Thank you. Well, Cheers. Uh, da, 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 da. So look, I can't believe this about Duffy. I know, it's, it's insane, isn't it? It's insane. Because it was a thing oh. of like, what happened to Duffy? And it turns out, real bleak. Yeah, Duffy, she has 2015, there you go, whole lot of love. That's afterwards. Oh no, that's covering... Uh... No, yeah, no, there you go. It's uh, Stepping Stone remix, non-album single, 2021. Can we play it? Yeah. Can we play Stepping Stone by Duffy? Well, we're going to demonetize ourselves. Although she could, she, she could probably use the cash. Just look at the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's give it to Duffy. Yeah, let's, let's give her uh, our three pound advertising money. All right. Why don't, why don't we just read the lyrics? Okay. 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 Can I read them? I like reading lyrics because yeah. I feel like I've got a good reading voice for this stuff. Right. Um, I remember I when. I said, I'm begging you for mercy. <laughs> Let what? me out. <laughs> Why don't they release me? <laughs> uh, can you make it a little bit bigger, please, producer Tom? Right? Um, not really. Yes, you yes, can. You can. Yes, you can. You zoom in. Go right zoom to the top in. into the URL bar. There we go. Go across. Go across to where it says update. Click the little dots next to it. There you go. Yeah, and then zoom. you can zoom to one. You go zoom. You press the plus. No, don't press, press the, the middle. plus. Not normally the, you can type not in the middle, middle you really fucking... <laughs> normally you can type in these things. What a fucking div. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I remember it's... I remember way back, <laughs> way back when, I said I'd never want to see your face again. Oh, this could be about. Because mm-hmm. uh, you were loving, probably not about him then. Yes, you're loving somebody else. And I knew, oh yes, I knew I couldn't control myself. So and, I need you to control me. And now they bring you back into my life again. And so I put on a face just like your yeah, friends. Yeah, this is a song about someone leaving it for someone else. It's yeah. not, I, I don't think she's addressing the unpleasantness. Yeah. Maybe it's I'm, a song about Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear Honestly. God! It might be. If, but fair play to Duffy because if she was a comedian, this would be an Edinburgh hour. Oh. And it would be so unfunny. Oh, a hundred percent. They'd just be like, "I was chained up. Yeah. Give me awards." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's oh fuck, man! Yeah. I actually, I actually have a weird level of respect. for Hold on, that was released in two thousand and eight. Oh yeah, I think they were. Yeah, they must have remixed it and re-released it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't so think she's done not, anything since the. She's done enough. nothing since the. Yeah, I reckon it might shake her up a bit, mate. Yeah, might have given her a bit of creative block. Also, she probably doesn't want to be famous she's anymore. Like, that's probably the reason why. Yeah, she's done I think it was. It was someone who was like a stalker and got obsessed with her and stuff. It's a really horrible dark story. Yeah. So you know, perfect ground for us. I mean, <laughs> you, you'd think that maybe if she didn't want to write her own songs, she could maybe do covers, such as Queen. I want to break free. <laughs> Yeah. Dale House Rock. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's do this for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Frozen soundtrack. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Joseph and the Technical Dream Dreamcoat, let my people go. <laughs> I close my eyes. <laughs> Uh, the problem is she's already done the most apt song you know she yeah, already yeah, did yeah. it you know yeah it's literally every fucking yeah it's right on the nose so what happened to the guy right can you google what happened to the guy that kidnapped Buffy? I think he got caught I hope he did I think he's in jail imagine if he's still out there yeah. how is this not a film how the fuck is this not a film I don't think she wants to sell the rights to yeah. it I don't know if it's going to be that much of a laugh. How did how did Duffy get away from a kidnapper? She escaped by fleeing, but did not provide an account of how she got away. I mean, everyone gets away by fleeing. <laughs> I mean, <that's... laughs> I mean, she cannot caught. remember getting home. But she eventually told a female officer what happened after someone threatened to out her story. Oh, fuck, well, she man. This is so dark. Yeah. Well, yeah, the police don't have a, a fucking 100% record in these sort of cases. Do you know, know what, as well, what's really bad about this is this story went out the 6th of April 2020. It was buried with COVID news. I mean, I, Didn't I even remember, get the PR. I remember it happening. I Imagine was... finally getting out and then you got to stay in all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Imagine getting kidnapped in February 2020. <laughs> Mate, imagine having to tell the Fritzel kids about lockdown. <laughs> 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 Sorry, kids. 
back in the basement. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> We're going to start a new family. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. That is so funny. <laughs> Oh shit, man! I yeah, never yeah. knew this. So, did they catch Duff, Duffy's kidnapper? Did they say, catch? Her? It doesn't mm. say. It, there's just that one story that she released a thing on Instagram. I think there it. was a lot. Of, like a lot of it was deliberately kept not put. She didn't want to put a lot of it out. You know, lies. So I think a lot of it's uh, <laughs> must yeah. have been bad, man. Yeah, I think so. I think the kidnap and rape might have been quite bad, mate. Oh, it was February 2020. Yeah. <gasps> oh. But that's when she was like talking about it, you know, when she finally like, because she, oh, uh, she wrote an essay about yeah, it. 3,600 yeah, yeah. word blog. Yeah. I think that's best for a Patreon, maybe. <laughs> I don't know well, if it's going to be full of giggles. Mate. Hey guys, we've read Barry Moore's autobiography. <laughs> we've read Rolf Harris. But now... <laughs> No. For one night only. Yeah. to complete the trilogy. Yeah, we've read we've read about some accounts from the from the people who've done the crimes. <laughs> now let's hear from a victim. <laughs> For fuck's sake. God. Oh, this sake. is so dark. I think we're going Already, to put an extra warning for, at the start of this episode. For us, even for us, this one's a difficult one. <sighs> Fuck me. I think we've done the patron of the public the wrong way around today. <laughs> and I'd rather have played Top Trump Nonsense. Yeah, we've just <laughs> spent fucking hours doing Top Trump Nonsense. Wow. Uh, well, like, like, gen like, you know, like one slight thing, you know, much love and sympathy to her. Fuck me, it's awful. This, it genuinely is horrible. I, and, like, I, I, so I didn't really know about her, but it must have been bad yeah it's really horrible and, also, and like obviously it's massively affected her and i hope she's doing all right also now, as well know? i kind of uh, you, you've got to respect somebody who goes i am fucking done i'm yeah. not talking about that I'm not doing a fucking song about it i'm doing shit i'm walking because yeah. if she did a song that was called i don't know in chains <laughs> yeah. fleetwood mac cover yeah <laughs> out of the frying pan <laughs> So, but if she did a song that was like, you know, Phoenix or something like that. Did a cover of the Percolator called The Radiator. <laughs> it's time for The Radiator. It's time for The Radiator. I have no idea, what, acid you, house, I've no idea what you've just done. Yeah, I know, but I, I knew you wouldn't. It's a song. I know, I just let you go along with it. Yeah, 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 you yeah. even did that, yeah, yeah. the robot arms, to let me understand it was a song. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah. Uh, very much Peter Crouch vibes when you do that. I've done a lot of... Uh, yeah, I thought he'd just scored against Trinidad and yeah. Tobago. I've done a lot of uh, robots in pubs during England matches. Uh, yeah. Like, Because like, I, I bought a Crouch shirt at the time he was playing for England because any time I would go watch England, it'd be Crouchy! And like, you know, people would surround me and make me do robots. So I just got it on my back because then people would be like, Crouchy! I'd turn around and they'd be like, way! Like I hadn't thought of it, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, shout out to Peter Crouch doing it for the lanky lads. Yeah. Yeah. You think no relation between these two stories, I want to make clear. I was going to say, you think you've had a tough time. <laughs> Look, Duffy, I know you suffered. But... I got forced to do a robot during England versus Germany. <laughs> <laughs> no further comments. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if she'd have released a song like that was like, you know, uh, coming back and if, if mm. she released it, she could make basically a proper thing about this be like the nation's darling or whatever, and then come out and have this huge pop career. She could do that. But I kind of respect the whole, this has properly changed me. I'm moving away from this shit for life. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that's probably what I'd do as well. If, that, yeah. if I was already a gazillionaire. Right. So that's how, I don't know if Duffy's a gazillionaire. No, he's no, a no. millionaire. Maybe. But it depends on how much. No, I don't reckon. There's not that much money so, so, in music, so, mate. So her, her first album was the but one depends, as well. How much was the ransom? Did she so, write it as well? Did she write her songs? Because that's who makes the money. It's who owns the publishing. I think, I think she wrote the songs. Cool, but, but did she sell the publishing? Does but, she own it? Here's the thing. Is her No, those album, are always bollocks. I saw one that said he was like £2 million. He, uh, um, really? <laughs> There's like these websites just guess stuff. So well, like I every hope, comedian. Uh, $9 million. I, dollars, I, hope, I hope HMRC don't see that otherwise. <laughs> um, so oh, I was having a pint with a tax man last night. Were you? Yeah, was nice what a wild that. life you lead. It was a nice book called Pete. Rock and roll. Yeah. yeah. And there was me thinking this story about Duffy was going to be the craziest thing today. I know. Tom had a pint with a Hold tax man. Hold on to your hats, guys. <laughs> I've never had a pie with a tax man before. Okay. Just interesting. Is it? <laughs> is it interesting? Well. Is it a thing you should have brought up on the podcast? Is it an anecdote? Oh, he was a paedophile. <laughs> right, brilliant. There we go. There Before we, we go. get to the juice. Finally. Pete wasn't a paedophile, and uh, please don't investigate my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> he just, Peter files taxes. Yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. that's happening there. Yeah, yeah, that's all that's happening. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, uh, Duffy's main album was yeah. uh, Rock Ferry in two thousand and eight. How do you know stuff like this? It's so weird that you know the name of Duffy's first album. It's, Why it's, do it's, you it's, not it's, know Rock Ferry? I move to Because I don't listen to Radio Ferry. 2, mate. That's why. The weird thing is that you know so much about yeah. something that you hate. Yeah. It'd be like me memorising all those top Trump nonce cards. Yeah, it's like if I remembered every Man United lineup from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, legitimately. Cunt, my... rapist, cunt, rapist, <laughs> rapist, cunt, rapist, rapist, cunt, cunt. <laughs> Right, Pudo, right, Pudo. <laughs> I have a, a really weird memory yeah. in that I can remember things exceptionally well and a lot of the times it's just stuff that is pointless and unnecessary to And remember. he can also really blank stuff out. And I also completely you know, blank things out. You've got to remind well. him about the murders. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Another thing as well is that considering that I have such a good memory, and I, I have, I, I would say, you know, those constant, like I have a photographic memory or whatever. I think I have as close to a photographic memory. I, it's just very good right but i have an absolutely dog shit ability to uh, uh be observant and to notice things have changed in a room yes that is very that is very true like i did really enjoy it when i was building the studio he'd pop in every now and again and go what's different <laughs> and he would have zero clue and it'd be like the sofa was here i'd wallpapered you know it wasn't like little shit and he'd be like i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I used to be black. You haven't even noticed. <laughs> so I don't see colour. Yeah. You used to be gay. Yeah, you used to be a gay guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I noticed that because the edits started coming in on time. Hi, O. Um, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I just have a, a memory. Back to Duffy. Oh, um, God. Every time I think we're getting away from this. What to say with her? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> why oh, you like no. this? I don't know why you do this to yourself. I'm so self-tabotaging. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Duffy. I actually have a lot of respect for I you. I know. Oh, God. Genuinely, we have nothing but love and respect for you, but we're, we're just good. like this. <laughs> yeah, you seem like a nice woman. You've been through a lot, and I respect yeah. that you've not monetized your grief for fucking, you know, dollar and fame like a lot of people would do. Yeah. But, it, but also, I make jokes. Yeah. We're trying to monetize your grief. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's not done it, so someone's got to fill the void. <laughs> we're essentially grief ticket scalpers. <laughs> <laughs> We'll do the gallows humour for you. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one. Do you know what? It's gonna be one of those episodes that I forget about that a week and a half later. I know we start getting weeks. tweets and we're like, oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's gonna someone's gonna do Photoshop and it's just gonna Mate, be... sometimes people tweet us like uh like they'll tweet us like a sentence that has been said and I'm like, did we? I had to like look at one. The other yeah, day. I was like, I was like, who was that? Was it me or Freddie? It was fucking me. I was like, shit. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's a rough what one. We, what we got that frame sent to us by uh, that Naomi yeah, girl, yeah, yeah. who was like, you know, it, it takes says, a few rapes to rape a rape rape or it's whatever. Not that. Like, it's that. It's, I'd rather be sweaty with. Uh, I'd rather be sweaty with a dick than not sweaty without a dick. Yeah, yeah. Which neither of us have any idea of the context <laughs> of. No, we have no clue. Wouldn't it be funny if she just made that up? I know. You totally. <laughs> could you totally could and we'd be like oh yeah fair enough <laughs> yeah please send us a bit a brave picture of a quote that you that's think we what we should said. do for a future episode yeah. is 10 quotes attributed to either of us yeah. and nine of them are correct mate that's oh, a quiz you could run because neither of us will remember who said not what a fucking, <laughs> not yeah. a fucking we will clue. not have a clue yeah, yeah 100 percent. i can remember can you, do, you, can you, do you even listen to these back no never and i i, I my memory is the opposite of yours like i'm very opposite at you in a lot of ways you know I can control my BMI <laughs> not <laughs> but like, funny <laughs> go on uh, but like uh, yeah so like my memory is fucking terrible like as soon as I finish the episode I don't remember what we talked so about really I, can, I might remember like a couple of vague topics I can remember it. the first time I listened to something and really winced and I can remember was it, it was the Snorlax wasn't it yeah and not only that yeah. I can remember exactly where I was at the time yeah it was so, like episode three, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode two, actually. Was it? The Down Syndrome Snorlax. 
<laughs> I think I remember this. Um, and I remember that I was walking my dog around a little yeah. nature reserve and I can, in my mind's eye, I can tell you exactly, if, if we went to that nature reserve now, I could point out exactly where I was when I listened to it and went, Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that was the first one where he rang me like, I don't know if this can go out. And I was like, ah. <laughs> there, was, yeah. there was a joke I made about a nurse that after I uh -huh. made, after I, made that, I know the one. Yeah. I'm not going to say which nurse. <laughs> that honestly, until that episode came out, I was so anxious. I had like sleepless nights over that. Like, I was so concerned. Good on you for not asking for it taken out though. That You know, well done. Well, you. I almost said it out myself and just didn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not checking, to be fair. You can fucking do what you want. Do you not have a good memory around things that you like, things that you're passionate about? Sometimes, um, but no, not really. Like I'm really bad at remembering what happened in individual footy matches that I was at. Like I don't remember uh, the scores. Okay. Like uh, so, you know, I remember moments and stuff. But like, if you if you ask me what the score of what a game I was at three months ago, I'll be like, I know we won, but I can't remember. Yeah, my my memory of football now is terrible. Yeah, but my knowledge of nineties football, I sure. reckon, is better than anyone alive. Yeah, especially Man United. I know all the squad numbers still yeah, between yeah. ninety three and like two thousand five. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, but now I wouldn't know. But now I'm pretty bad because I don't remember the names of songs as well because of the way I listen to music. I just put on like albums yeah, and I'm listen the to the, all of it, or I listen to the radio. You you know, so I don't, I'm not like checking each song as it goes. So I love the album and not know what any of the songs are called. Uh, see, like, I'm, I'm the opposite. Mm -hmm. If I I've, know a lot of like random facts, if like I've listened, if I've listened to a song, I'll be able to say within the first three seconds that I've listened to it yeah. what it is and what the lyrics are yeah. straight yeah. away because I'll just so know. artistic. That is music rain, man. But I think you're so in tune to music that it angers you. No, no, it's <laughs> music I, rain, man. Isn't that it's raining, man? <laughs> <laughs> You see Dustin Hoffman slap himself as the beat. <laughs> it's raining, man. And I fought it. It's raining, man. It's my favourite bit of Ray, man, where he's in the lift and he's like, I farted. Oh, yeah, that is funny. That is a funny bit. I farted. Mm, yeah. yeah. Me and my girlfriend play this game, right? Yeah. Called Loud or Not Loud. Mm -hmm. And you do it just before you do a fart, and then you have to work out if it's going to be a loud one or not. Loud so you one. walk mm -hmm. around shouting loud or not loud? Or shout it. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. when we message you about loud or not loud, uh -huh. everyone, and everyone always guesses loud, usually it's loud. So, right. so, so mine, are, mine are like 100% loud, to be honest. I've, I'm quite good at manipulating a fart into sounding worse than it is. You know, <laughs> I, do that yeah, with, I do that with women. <laughs> but you make them sound quieter than yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, like I'll, I'll position my cheeks in yeah, such yeah. a way there to get the most thunderous it. claps. It's all, in the, it's all in the breath as well, the intake of breath before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that I'm quite. I'm. I can make a real racket with a fart. I'll start sending you voice notes. I normally send them to Simon Lomas. I just when I fart, I send him voice notes. Oh, him. My girlfriend once them to you. farted to the tune of "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star" on command. <laughs> It was the greatest thing I've ever heard. And you're like, I'm going to marry you. Yeah, yeah. That was like date three. I was like, I'm in. I'm all in. Here's my house keys. Do, do you want all my money now or do you want it installments? Fine. It's not like Duffy trying to get away. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Can you move on? <gasps> <laughs> just let me get out of this situation yeah. freddie yeah why won't you let me leave unchain me from this <laughs> gosh i feel like i'm kidnapped in this conversation feels like i'm on bloody drugs <laughs> i just really want you to stop <laughs> The, the urge to do a Michael Scott. <laughs> That's what she said. Just <laughs> coming through. Uh, uh, yeah, we need to move on from her now. Yes, because, uh, we did. Was... We moved on like four times. Yeah, I know, but in my, us back. in my head, I was still thinking about it. Right. So you two were talking about music or something and I just trailed off. <laughs> music okay. or something. Yeah. About farting. That was ages ago, music. <laughs> <laughs> it was a musical fart, though. It was I think it was fart, in the same yeah. region. Yeah. We, um, I find it mental that you can't remember stuff like... Um, where you were where you first met somebody and things like that. Yeah, I'm quite bad at that. Unless it's like, because um, the thing is, my brain doesn't make memories unless they stand out at the time almost. So like, yeah. you know, there's certain people like, I remember where... Uh, what the I, hell does that mean? Your well, like, brain doesn't make memories unless they stand out at the time. So like, my brain will just not even imprint a memory of loads of stuff. My brain So it's not even there to access. It just doesn't make the memory. My, mine imprints every single yeah. thing. Right. Uh, so like, I remember where I was, like, I, re I remember exactly the first time I'm a 
uh, my miss, oh, beepy name. Uh, I remember the first time I met my ex before that, that I was with for years. I yeah. remember like seeing her across the room sort of thing. I remember those sort of things when I met people that I knew at the time they would be something in, uh, somewhat important Do you remember life. the first time you met me? No, but you've told me since about the football I've, club. I've where literally I told you yeah, so. Yeah, you remember yeah. where you met me? Yeah, I was here. Yeah, I was here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a couple of months ago, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the biggest regrets of my life. Freddie, do you remember when we first met Avi? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we <laughs> let's test this photographic memory. Yeah. Well, it's nearly photographic. Oh, uh, here's a little caveat. It photographs. Uh, I can't. It's just upskirt shots. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see his photographic memory, you've got to go on the dark net, <laughs> download like a thousand images of it. I'm trying to zoom my photograph out so I can see Tom. <laughs> I remember the scent. So I don't think I met you before Pigoted, but I reckon you might tell me that we did meet before Pigoted. We did meet shortly before. Very shortly when you meet people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey! I think you'd done a gig at Untapped in Northern Den. Okay. Colin Manford's old gig. You came up to me afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I don't remember it. Yeah, Because yeah. Those, those things get yeah. put in the uh, in the recycling bin straight away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I, had to, if I had to remember every time I'd met somebody after a gig... Sorry, but if I've met you after a gig, yeah. I don't remember because because yeah. I literally I take all of those memories and I I collect them and I just drag them over yeah, and I yeah. drop them in the bin. Empty recycle yeah, bin. Because because it Elite just cash. there are some that I remember though. There's some like fan interactions I totally remember. There's people I remember. The guy who was the first person to like uh recognise me in the wild, I remember. The guy who met me in Tesco. That was the first time I'd ever been like recognised anywhere. So I remember that. Yeah. The guy who I bet Duffy remembers that one fan. <laughs> Tom, Tom, we're but, trying to oh, move not, on. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> I mean, the other, the like, really nice one that she met, we gave her like 50 quid. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> anyway, but, when we met this, there, you had a really bad football opinion and I was like, ah, Oh, that's un that. unlike Freddie. What, like, what was the really bad football opinion? It was when United had signed um, a lot of players. And you were like, well, Man United are definitely going to win the league. Went, well, you never know, because remember Chelsea last year? And you went, oh, well, that's going to be part of a new team. They'll definitely win the league this season. And we finished like seventh. Yeah. I don't think that sounds like me. That's exactly what you Yeah, said. it does. Like, you making a wildly inaccurate football prediction doesn't sound like you. We've got a little group on Facebook of comedians who uh, discuss football together. It's our own little closed group. And I, I Freddie is the biggest joke in the group. I, I literally keep that group going. Yeah, in mockery of Freddie. So Freddie will make it like it's become such a running joke that whatever Freddie predicts, everyone bets against because, and wins because, money. Because nobody predicts anything. So what um, they all do is they all look at happen. Yeah, because like, all of us have watched football long enough to know that when you predict shit, it looks stupid. Just yesterday, at half time, I said Marcus Rashford was playing shit. Oh, and yeah. 20 minutes after the fucking half, he comes back out and twats two goals in. looks did, amazing. Did you hear what... So I've been betting on football, obviously, as I do all the time. And I put last week, I put, God, I can't buy a fucking winner at the moment. And... Um, Somebody put, who, who have you got on for the Germany-Japan game? Yeah. And I went, Germany over two goals. And he went, nice one, mate. And he screenshotted that he'd bet a five on Japan and they yeah. went, fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a really good strategy. If you want betting tips, follow Freddie's Twitter and do the opposite. <laughs> Just live tips, to be honest. Although... My Twitter's and my Facebook has been a bit of a cesspool this last 24 hours because you don't say because I annoyed Welsh people. Oh, god, so yeah, you've angered so the Welsh, so that's the L which is something I would never do. So that's the LGBT, <laughs> yeah. the Welsh, which is the L L L L L L L L it's the L L L L G G G G G G G G B T. Trans people, well, that's one of the T, that's the T. Duffy's Welsh as well, isn't she? <sighs> no, 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 no. I think she was in a living I, no, 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 hell. No, no, I think, <laughs> I think what you mean, Tom, is that they heard whales. What? Like wailing is what he was going oh, for. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, it was just bad. It was just bad. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> It's really, yeah. it's really bad what happened to her. Why can we not stop this? Tom, you're you're the problem now. Yeah. You're yeah, the, the problem with this. You're the problem now. We respect Duffy. I really like her. Anyway, uh, so I made a joke, didn't I? I said yeah. um, something like, um, Wales are going to leave the international tournament with more L's than what's in the daft fucking town names yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Funny tweet. 
Good tweet, yeah. Oh, my A God. rare Freddie Quinn banger. Yeah. Loads of people from Wales, and to be fair, loads of people from Wales have a great sense of humour. There was a bunch in the comments who were like, fair play, that's fair funny. Fair play, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. But when you get... Fair a... play, boy oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we've been roasted. We've been roasted. Where are they from? Um, what, was that? what was that? They, accent? Moved, they moved around. Like right, that. okay. Got a bit of a Phil Chapman accent, have they? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so Phil with three That's hours. just what I, I, I call anyone who's got a vaguely weird accent that's a mix of a bunch of things. That's a Chapman. Yeah. He has got a really weird... Well, it's half Texan, half Scouse. It's like... It's bizarre. It's it, it, His voice sounds like, you know when they teach AI to speak? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it should be introduced in a TikTok video. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a thousand pounds to... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah anyway there's a few welsh people who when you even hint about taking the piss out of their language mm -hmm. holy fuck they were also shit. quite angry yesterday because we'd just beaten them yeah but and it's like shit. as well it's like i'm sorry but your language is daft yeah. it is daft it is a silly to language. have very long names for things yeah. oh so he's getting angry silly. at spelling yeah well, like some of these people are yeah like, you know, it, it was a bit yesterday, though. When I, so we were recording this the day after the, the England-Wales game. Uh, I, yesterday, it did make me a bit jealous, right? Because, like, like, obviously, they were shit and they got twatted. But it looks great being a Wales fan. Like, oh, they yeah, have a the great time. And, stuff, and it yeah. makes me wish Yorkshire was an independent nation because I'd be that fired up for Yorkshire. I'd be that level yeah. of fucking singing il an Ilkley Moor bar tat with thousands of Yorkshire and we'd be going fucking... I, I would be that fired up. Whereas yeah. for England, I find a bit really embarrassing have... sometimes. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm, a, I'm, a ma I'm massively more passionate for United than yeah, yeah. England. Do you have that sort of level of like... I'm know... Yorkshire before I'm English, yeah. Like, oh, that's not a thing. But like, I know, I'm not like. It's not. I like mean, the Scouse before English is cringe. It's not. But... The, it's not the Scouse Yorks uh, where they like Scouse not English. I am English, but I'm like you know. You ask me where I'm from. I, I identify with Yorkshire a lot more than England for as a, long, a country. For a long time, United there was a big thing that a lot of United fans didn't support England because of what happened to David Beckham and Phil Neville and stuff. Yeah. And, 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 and they're from it. Nigeria. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Well, they are a wow. lot. Of, there's a lot of Manchester United fans in Nigeria yeah, and, and Singapore and fucking anywhere that isn't Manchester yeah. <laughs> or Salford where you're actually from and what's that um, what's the problem with that nothing well there you go I was just pointing out as a fact that about why they wouldn't support England <laughs> um, but yeah I don't feel any affinity with where I'm born none at all no, in I mean, fact if anything we are from a shithole there's nothing to be proud of I being from Preston of, I kind you're going to be wish. a bus stop ultra I <laughs> I kind of wish <laughs> that we'd have um, that I was born somewhere that was a little bit more not even nicer, but a place that was born with a little bit more identity. Yeah, like you know, like uh, you know, Scotland is another example of that. They might be shit, but like having that identity is cool. Being like right into it. Yeah. Do you know Preston doesn't have a, a theatre? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, it doesn't have a theatre. I tried doing comedy art, to them. an art centre. It doesn't have no, anything. No, there's no artistic... There's no art you know, in Preston. Well, do you know what we have? We have a head of culture. Preston has its own head mm. of culture. Yeah, but they we mean culture like bacteria. But, <laughs> but we don't have a cultural venue. No. It's insane. Well, it's not insane to not have any culture in Preston. Like, what's the point? But it's a city. Just yeah. have a fucking theatre. It's, it's like, it's like complaining... It's a town. What? Is it a city? Preston is a city right. and has been a city since 2010, I wow, think. Wow, but it really counts then. But it's Warrington like, it's like keeps trying going... to become a city, but they won't let it. What's that? Yeah, Warrington no. Warrington keeps trying. Warrington's not a city, though. It's just yeah. an in-between. Yeah, between... they keep trying. They've yeah. tried like five times and they just say no. It's a big town, though. I think it's the biggest town in Britain. Right. There you go. <laughs> well, do you know. Do you want any more Warrington facts? No. Do we talk yeah. about Walking Day again? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Warrington Walking shit, Day. Yeah, oh, it's a thing in Warrington, yeah. It's like the big, big day out in Warrington. Where everyone goes through a walk. walking day. It's a real thing. Yeah. Because they don't do it the rest of the year. I think it'd fit in quite well. <laughs> I wouldn't be partaking. <laughs> Let me know when it's stair lift day. Yeah. I come with a note like it's PE. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do walking day. I've not got my kit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, like if if, if what you, do they do in Nursebrook? What's the, the bed race? We've talked about. Oh, the the yeah, yeah. We'll we'll go. So we'll go one time. We'll take you to bed race. We'll do a little day out. Uh, but yeah, like I do. Like if Yorkshire was an independent nation like that, I would support Yorkshire over England if would it was you? a choice between yeah. the two. And we'd have a banging team if we could get everyone. We could. You, Erling Haaland up front. He if, was born if, in Leeds. If you yeah. were your own uh, Walker Stones Maguire, all Yorkshire. If, if you were yeah. your own Milner. If you were your own little Phillips. Prin- uh, l- Jessica Ennis. If you were your own principality, though, yeah. it'd just be poverty. That's all it'd be. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got Harrogate. You know, we've got North Yorkshire's rich. Y- oh, you'd have Harrogate and yeah. York and yeah. then you'd ju- uh, Leeds and then you'd just have poverty. Yeah. Abject poverty. Yeah. We'd have a good footy team, though, and we'd have a laugh. We'd have a laughing squad. You've not got a good that- footy team then now. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, we, if, if all our players weren't poached by richer teams elsewhere, we would. You yeah. know, if we if we could like genuinely, I did I did it as an experiment a while ago working out the Yorkshire team. It's quite good, and it's like most of the England team. I think that if uh, Yorkshire left England, it would be a massive car crash. Yes, so do I. Which yeah, is probably. why we're not actually doing it. It's just I'd <laughs> like it for football. You know, um, I just I'm just talking about a football team. Speaking of Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? I just love chaos. <laughs> <laughs> like all producers, I love chaos. Yeah, that's what we that's what we bring you in for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is to make things more chaotic. Uh, Three men, each one cuntier than the last. <laughs> <laughs> can you go on your um can you go on the emails? Yeah. Uh, Okay. And then can you open the one where I said little tiny wee Tom, small miniature face? You've had put small face. minute face. Minute. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, can you have a look at Crash for me, please? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't cut anything out of this episode. Let's carry on. So, uh, <laughs> have a little watch of this. This is a guy, uh, a, a dash cam of a guy on a bike, just at a motorbike. fucking... Motorbike. Just at a fucking pedestrian crossing. Yeah. Watch this. Shit, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> There's a car crash in the middle of the junction and the car, a massive truck, just... Oh, oh my God. He gets, he gets hit in the face with a ladder. <laughs> like it's fucking Edge and Christian. I know, uh, oh, oh it's bad, isn't it? Watch. That's oh, so unlucky, oh. that poor cunt. He's that done nothing. Cunt. He's yeah. exactly, he's played a blinder. He's, he's just doing sat exactly there. what he's meant to do. Yeah. He's a blinder now. <laughs> It's the least of his worries. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, it was actually being driven by the Dudley boys, that pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Hardy's in the other one. Oh, God. That you, might bad, well, that. you might as well have a look at the other one that I All saw. Right, yeah, okay. They're going very ha- fight heavy recently, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, well, they're fun, aren't they? They are fun. This yeah. is a. Uh, Fighting's cool, guys. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, stop Oh, it. I have seen this one. This, pause, is, this is fucking this. beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is Canadian culture. This. this is two people fighting at a hockey match yeah. next to one of Ice those, hockey. like, yeah, next to one of those screens. Well, they have a Perspex screen around it because yeah. the players slam into it yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And the Barrier. puck's moving. Yeah, let's have a look. And they have a little fight. Yeah. And you can tell they're hockey fans because he's the, pulled the jumper yeah. over his head. That's yeah, such yeah, a hockey yeah, way of fighting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And now you They're can't fighting see. like they're on ice, but yeah. they're stood at the side. They're like a lot of wrestling. <laughs> they're both doing such a shirt. bad job of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a always, pretty rubbish they're fight. They're always such messy shit fights, these. Well, because fighting's harder than it looks. You know, when you see like professional fighters and it looks all smooth, because right, they're watch really this. good. The guy has been let go. Yeah. He's fired up. And what does he do? Because he's fired up. Yeah. He some hits, his head, hits his there head against go. the Bang! screen. Knocks himself out. Knocks himself out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Duffy had done that. She got free. <laughs> Bang! What is Maybe wrong that's how she got kidnapped. <laughs> It's fucking amazing, now, though. What is wrong with you two? <laughs> anyway, don't it flip so much. Now you kept bringing it up, and now it's us that keep. <laughs> That's it up. the problem. There's always one of us who feels <laughs> like being a cunt, <laughs> and he just hot potatoes round us. It's contagious. <laughs> Got cuntitis. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, like I'm, it is a thing though. You see, like Scallies in fights where they like punch themselves in the head to look hard, and I've always thought it was such a dumb strategy. You've just made it easier to beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't knock yourself out, you've done some damage. Yeah, yeah, give him a head start. Like there was a lad in my hometown who headbutted a bottle at the start of the fight, and just like he had a massive lump on his head after the fight because he didn't break. He just went bunk. And he was oh like, god, that's awful. Yeah. Bottles fucking hurt as well. Yeah. He then threw it at someone else. Did he? Yeah. So missed. he hit it on his own head, yeah. made the bottle weaker. Yeah. And they threw, they threw it. it, missed them. I can't remember if he won that fight. He might have done. Yeah. You know, so in general, don't do that. There's another video I've seen ages ago of a guy like some rednecks and they're about to have a fight and the guy headbutts the car to look hard. And as he does it, he headbutts it, stands up and the other guy just chins him as soon as he stands back <laughs> oh. up. Because <laughs> he's distracted by headbutting the car. As soon as he comes back up, he just gets caught. It's fucking great. And uh, speaking of crazy fights, this doesn't really link it up. Um, you don't say. <laughs> this will be the, f- now. <laughs> this'll be the first time. <laughs> <sighs> this one has to be public. <laughs> I think we've I think we've learned a lesson here. We should never record a Patreon. And yeah, then we got into public. a Patreon mindset. Yeah, we normally do public then Patreon, but today we switched. This that might around. have to move to <laughs> Patreon in some way. Oh no, we can't. We're not going up. Okay. okay. Well, but we could. We could. I just can't be asked. So, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, just, I mean, I'd I think, rather you destroy your yeah. career. Uh, We're going to put an extra warning. I think we should do a different warning at the start of this episode. Well, we've actually stopped doing the warnings recently. Have we? Yeah, yeah we changed the intros, didn't we? Okay, we'll put the warning back on. Warning needs to go back on. Yeah. We changed it, didn't we? Because people Yeah, but we watching. didn't say take the warning off. We did. No, we didn't. Oh, all right, well. All right. <laughs> This way you should watch. Yeah. <laughs> well, a warning's going back on for this episode. Yeah, we, this is the we episode. We need one. This is the episode where a warning goes back on. A warning needs to be on. Okay, we'll, um, we, we'll just put it somewhere else. We'll put it at the end. <laughs> for no one likes imagine, it. Just put it stick at the imagine end. if Alton Towers did that with their roller coasters at the end. You shouldn't have ridden this ride if... <laughs> you this height. If you were this height. <laughs> And people coming up going, wow, I really took a risk. As a pregnant dwarf, I really... <laughs> if you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, then why not sign up to our Patreon? It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. And it's just £3 a month. And for that, you get an extra episode every single week. You get access to all the extra content that we film, all the live shows, Rob's Punishment set. Uh, what else do you get? You get access to the Discord c- community, specifically the Dark Room on the Discord, which is where we put all the fucked up videos. You get all that for three quid a month. But most importantly, you're helping to support the podcast and to grow the community because your money helps us to keep the podcast go what are you doing you're poking me in the face poking me in the face okay <laughs> thanks mate that was helpful uh three pound a month and i get to be financially tied to this absolute fucking reprobate uh thanks <laughs> so yeah. um speaking of fights not really kind of <laughs> um, uh christmas gigs are nearly back <laughs> yeah and for those of you that don't know, Christmas gigs are the time in a comedian's career where gigs are generally the Fucking awful. spiciest. Honestly, I hate Christmas so much. I like I, I've never been a huge Christmas guy, but becoming a comedian has made it so much worse. Yeah. Just the whole of December is a nightmare. Cause like everyone who doesn't want to go to comedy is dragged out by their colleagues or friends to go to a comedy night, get blackout drunk, do cocaine, and shout at If me. you're the office manager, then booking a comedy night is a really easy fucking go booking. fucking axe throwing, right? Just anything but, but comedy. Comedy is really fu- because everyone thinks that they like to have a laugh, yeah. so everyone puts that in there. Also, as well, a lot of comedy clubs nowadays will do below average, no offense, food and drinks and stuff like that. Yeah. So a lot. There's some comedy clubs that have great food. The stands food is very nice. Yeah, yeah. Glee's food's good. The comedy store have good food. The yeah. Rotunda in Glasgow, shout out, sick food. Yeah, but some of the food as well is like, oh my god, the job venues that used to do food. Used to I, so I wouldn't bad. feed it to me fucking dog. Honestly, they, ga- they gave me a burger that was frozen in the middle with no sauce, no salad. And then I realised everyone outside was also eating those, right. but I paid 20 quid. So so here's the thing, right, is Christmas gigs are tough because if you have a party of 20, maybe three of them are asked about watching comedy. Yeah. Maybe. And probably the, two of them think they're the funny guy in the yeah. office. The rest of them want to get pissed. Yeah. There's also the funny guy in the office and it's always they a feel fucking threatened. bloke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also as well, it's full of a lot of people who are just... 
pissed and mardy and arseholes. So they're always bad. So I wanted to ask you, uh, Rob, what are some of the worst Christmas gigs you've done? Uh, one that stands out in the memory was I did one in Alexander's in Chester where I was on with Junior Simpson and Adam Rowe. And it was back in the day where they didn't have an MC and you sort of hosted each other. So like whoever was closing went on first yeah, to warm yeah, up yeah, for yeah, the first yeah, act yeah. like that. And like before Rowe was opening, I remember before he went on stage, right before we'd started the show, there was uh, a group of guys stood on a table down at the front singing Christmas songs, chanting to each other, throwing shit at each Woof. other, just throwing beers around like that. And and uh, yeah, Ro had to go out and deal with them. But it was one of those where, because Ro had such a horrible time of dealing with them all, and he was just like cutting them all off, they all left before I went on, so that nice. one was all right. But I've had various ones where they've had to like, you know, where people are getting chucked out, fights are happening, things are yeah. getting thrown. I've got it's... a few. The The one that stands out the most for me is when I did a Christmas gig that got delayed by an hour because a woman got stuck in a giant ceramic pot. <laughs> Freddie was trying to cook her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a few questions. Yeah. Why was there a giant ceramic pot? Right, okay. So this is going to not make sense, but also kind of make sense. The gig was like an Indian restaurant. <laughs> so, you know, like... It was also, like a, an Indian restaurant. A Bangladeshi restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like... <laughs> That's like an Indian it restaurant. Like an Indian restaurant. Yeah. It was like an Indian restaurant, but it's sort of Italian yeah. food. Mate, you so, did someone get their ass stuck in a tandoor? Oh, mate, you should have heard her screaming, why won't you release me? <laughs> so anyway, oh, anyway. This one's been a tough one. This is a tough one. Right, so um, uh, she got stuck in a giant ceramic pot. It was at this. It was kind of like uh, an Indian restaurant stroke. They had like a function room. It was weird, right? And this girl was. At the, they had two big ceramic pots either side of the bar, right? And this girl decided, young girl, about early twenties, I would say, um, quite fit. Doesn't matter. Um, so, but she didn't quite fit. <laughs> <laughs> The way you're setting this up, it's like, oh no, stepbrother, I'm stuck in a giant ceramic pot. She didn't quite. Did Dick Bush produce this? <laughs> right, so it's at a Christmas party. It's so. like an Indian restaurant. <laughs> it's Bangladeshi. Oh no, my printer doesn't work. <laughs> Just let it on flat land. Uh, so uh, she thought it would be a really good idea to climb into one of the giant ceramic pots mm -hmm. and then wait for her friends to come and order drinks. Sure, yeah. pop and up. then be like, hello! <laughs> Which, to be fair, is kind funny. of a funny idea. Yeah, yeah. pop-up Which... pirate. Well, she was pissed. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. Uh, she was pissed and a bit coked up as well, right? So she gets into the pot. Couldn't stop talking. <laughs> She's in the pot, suddenly gets a really good business idea. <laughs> Let's start a band! <laughs> <laughs> We'll call ourselves the Bangladeshis. <laughs> the potheads. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you get if you if you get stuck and you think about starting a band, that is very much the opposite to <laughs> This might be our worst one. <laughs> If I'm you not, like, if you like this, and you're not a patron. Sign up to patron because this I'm, is what they're like. I'm not sure this one can go out. Of course, it can. It's fine. <laughs> the warning's coming back. <sighs> right. Okay. Oh, so she got stuck in this giant right back. She bends her knees, and then she realizes that she can't quite get her head in. Right. So, a little... which way has she gone in? So she's gone <laughs> in feet first. She's gone in feet right. first, and she's tried to sort of sit down in the pot. Right. Yeah. So yeah. she sat down in the pot, and then she's tried to put her head underneath the pot, and then can't quite get. It. So her head's just popping out of a pot. Right. And then she goes, she goes to to be like, oh well, I guess that great <laughs> idea didn't work. So she goes to stand up and get out. She ain't moving. She's stuck in a pot. And so she's like a little lens poker and she goes, I'm, I'm, oh, oh, I'm stuck in this <laughs> And everybody yeah. starts screaming and stuff like that. like, I've got an idea, fetch the butter. <laughs> and then when you get given the butter, he's like, right, this helps me think. <laughs> 
<laughs> pass me my thinking lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's got an abacus with just jelly babies on it. Oh. <laughs> so she's stuck in this pot, right? Yeah. And she starts screaming because she's stuck. <laughs> Everybody keeps coming around. Now, now, when a slightly fit girl is in distress, mm-hmm. when a fit girl's stuck in a pot, yeah. there's there's a slight. This is how all the porn you watch starts. <laughs> there's, there's a certain type of guy yeah. that goes over to try. Oh, the trapped, white knight, the trapped white woman knight. cooking. <laughs> let's get this over a flame yeah first thing that we want to do is to wo- boil a kettle has anyone her. got any white wine <laughs> splash <laughs> just put some oregano on a red <laughs> so anyway don't add cream to a girl in a pot you'll ruin it <laughs> so anyway right um uh, she starts screaming. There's a certain type of guy that comes over. Yeah, yeah, not you. Which is, no, absolutely not. I was crying laughing. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, it was like, it's the uh, young, sort of jacked, mm-hmm. you know, I'm I'm going to save the day kind of guy. Yeah. So what they decide to do is they try and like literally pick her out via her head, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's... Like they're trying to deliver a baby. <laughs> So stuck in the birth the legs canal, failing, ah! getting yeah. four steps so around the, her head. They are. I'm not even joking. They're literally. They're clamping. They've got hands either side of her ears, and they're just trying to push up like this. And she's screaming. Right? She's going. Absolutely they not turn mad. the pot upside down and lift that up. The pot's massive. It's really heavy oh, as well. Right. So what one of them does is they go. We have to break the pot to set her free. Mm-hmm. So. These guys start trying to find things to break the pot. And then the owner comes out yeah. and is like, no, don't break the pot. Yeah. That's my pot. Yeah. That belongs to me. <laughs> and and now it's my woman. And they went, <laughs> and, and he went. You don't break lobster traps because they've caught a lobster. <laughs> Anything in the pot is mine. <laughs> it's the law of the sea. My pot, my rules. He <laughs> went. <laughs> He went, um, I, he, he said, that pot cost £2,000. And if you break Why it... Why would you buy a big pot for two grand? I don't think the pot to cost two women. grand. I don't think the pot cost two grand. How much okay. did the woman cost? Well, <laughs> these guys, he goes, if you break the pot, you've got to give me two grand. Mm. And these guys were like, ooh. You know what I mean? Because they're yeah. like, I don't want to pay to get her out. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I'll just buy a hooker. So... <laughs> What they started doing is just they, buy a pot. they started accusing <laughs> they the women for days. <laughs> they started accusing this guy of being callous and uncaring. Uh-huh. And one of the guys went, She might die in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking howling at this point. Like, of like, what? <laughs> What's she, what's she Death got? by pots. <laughs> Unless she's HIV positive, I think we'll be all right. <coughs> if she is, you wouldn't want to eat that, would you? Yeah. And a little head sticking out. It's not like she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good feed her. <laughs> so she lives her life from now on. <laughs> just trying to raise two grand for the rest of her days. Can't sit up and just give it because her fucking little, little arms can't get She drops her phone and she can't pick it up. <laughs> I like the idea they give her a little stick in her mouth yeah. and she's trying to work a laptop. How annoying would it be if you got an itchy nose? <laughs> like someone in an iron lung but in a pot. <laughs> anyway, long story short, the gig got... I hope the bloke gets... Got stuck in the other pot. I think I'm married. <laughs> no, what we need to do is put this pot in a slightly larger pot. <laughs> so, so long story short, that it, it kicks off an almighty row between the guy mm. who's like you're callous and uncaring because she might die in that pot, and the business owner who was like. Fuck you! It's my pot. Like, yeah. what's she doing? What's she doing? Cr- climbing it? Why are you in my pot? Yeah, and yeah. this girl's just crying. Ah, bah, 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 bah. I'm in a pot, <laughs> and the she's making so much commotion. She's in a pot of mother. She's she's making so much commotion that the directors of the company are now over. There. And you can just tell that this girl, she's not she's not high up in the company. Do you know what I mean? She, she's staff. Yeah. 
The one who what does the, the pot? Yeah. She works there. A member of staff is in the pot. Oh, no, 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 no. A member of staff at the Christmas do. Is in the pot? Yeah. Oh, oh right, no, from one of the companies. I yeah. Right, I right. The there. way you phrase that made it sound like she worked at the restaurant, which is a whole different vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She's a punter, though. She's yeah, a punter. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. But, like, like her bosses had come over. Right, basically. okay, now I'm with you now. Yeah. And now, how, how embarrassing is that to be like... You're the pot girl. Yeah. I've done some embarrassing shit at Christmas parties, but that's fucking top trump. <laughs> they came over and they went, you do this every Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> Last year it was a giant vase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why we're not allowed back in La Crusoe. Don't get that, but fine. It's a fancy pot. Right. <laughs> La Crusette, you mean? Yeah. Stop yeah, fiddling yeah. with the mic stand, please. No, Stop I'm fiddling with the mic I'm thinking stand. of the... Uh, uh, no, it doesn't even matter. You just got fucked it up, didn't you? Yeah, I just couldn't yeah. be asked. Anyway, so, so, uh, long story short, the gig gets delayed by an hour and a half because yeah. they had to call the fucking fire department. Did they come with the jaws of life to get her out of a pot? No, they ended up doing this fucking weird sort of... They've just got a technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah, got yeah. a technique of getting people out of pots. <laughs> just fill it with water and then she just floats <laughs> <out of> <laughs> <laughs> so they just yanked her out in a weird way and got her out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That took an hour and a half. And then the gig had to start. Amazing. Yeah. So Did, obviously it was just girl in pot jokes, surely, for the whole oh, show. Oh gotcha. Did she stay and watch? I think I think they'd l I think they took her to hospital to get uh, <laughs> uh like analyzed. Yeah, chicken pots. <laughs> chicken pots. For fuck's sake. <sighs> Awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I've had fun today. So yeah, that it's was. Been, it's been a rough one. <laughs> that was her. Uh, that was the story of that gig. The gig was dreadful as well. Yeah, yeah but awful. when it's that late and there's already been something funnier than you could ever say. Happened. Oh yeah, <laughs> there was another gig one time when uh, I watched Roger Monkhouse get punched. Yeah. Love Roger. I could see him getting punched though, because he's not one to back down. So um, uh, the uh, so <laughs> yeah, it was it was a spicy Christmas gig, and uh, uh, the owner of a company was at the front with like his staff, and the owner of the company was like this absolute guy in his fifties, probably gone through two divorces. Yeah, probably drives a motorbike to work. Yeah. That's has a Porsche Boxster. That alpha knobhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low level middle manager alpha. Yeah, but he owned the company. Sure. Like that's his thing, right? Roger went on, and uh, this guy called him a bald cunt. Mm -hmm. And then he said, "Oh, there's a reason for that, sir. So every time uh, I I, uh, I fuck your mother, she plucks one of the hers out of my head, or something <laughs> like that, right?" And, it's an um, old joke. Yeah, and everyone's like, "Way!" And then uh, Roger goes to move on with the set, and then gets the stuck in a pot. <laughs> And then the guy goes, yeah, but you're still a ball cunt. And then Roger says something brilliantly withering and fantastic. That's what he's like. Yeah. Uh, and then moves on again. And you can see, there's the, so sometimes you can see with like heckler videos and stuff, comedians try and move on. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. once I've put you down... I want to get back to the jokes. I, well, there's nothing for me to gain at this point. Yeah, yeah. Because if I put you down and it gets a laugh... That's it. I've won. The game is over. Yeah, yeah. All I can do is keep getting laughs from you, which is fine. But my set will do that as well. Yeah. Whereas if better. I if I carry on with you, there's a chance that I'll do or say something that will not get a laugh, and then it starts being my fault. Yeah. So comedians, generally speaking, when a heckle is done, we want a one knockout punch and we want to leave. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what Roger was doing. Boom, and then leaving. Boom, and then leaving. And by the time that it, I think it wasn't even the th I think it was the fourth or fifth time, yeah. Roger had moved on. He going, yeah, uh, excuse me, you're still a bald cunt. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then Roger said something absolutely withering about his mum being some sort of fucking slag that does this, that, or the other. Yeah. And it was very fucking. But Roger will have said it very eloquently. He said it very eloquently. It was very funny. Yeah. And the guy just sort of let it sink in and everyone's creasing laughing at this point yeah. the guy just because he was at the front he just stood and he was on stage yeah and then he went to punch roger and he kind of missed and sort of connected weird with him and then i jumped on stage and the sound tech jumped on stage who was an ex-policeman right who was like you know what i mean um 
And we got him. And I said to Roger, I said, if you want, go off stage and I'll introduce you back on. Yeah. Uh, Because that's what you do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Roger said, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And I was like, all right, okay, sweet. So then I got off. This guy was being pushed towards the back of the room to get out, right? And he was making a, oh, fucking, he's bang out of order. He's bang out of order. I was just having a little... (laughs) But the rest of his staff... Don't really know what to do. He's, there's about 20 people there. You've just watched the owner of the company get kicked out. Yeah. So, so obviously you're just going to be sat there like... Well, a lot of them were like this, right? And yeah. some of them were like, I guess we have to leave because the boss... Because he's got... paying the bar tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I would say of 20 people, maybe half got up to leave. Mm-hmm. So, and then half just stared and they were like, I just want to watch the comedy. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So it was about a five minute thing, right? And then Roger started again and everyone was like, you know, and he was like, well, that was unexpected. Yeah, and those he, moments after something like that happens, there's, a, there's like a, an electricity in rooms, isn't there? It's like crackling. I think he did, um, uh, I, I actually think he did a thing where he pretended like it was a double act. Right, yeah. And yeah. he was like, oh yeah, me, you know, we go everywhere and that's our thing. Sure, or sure. Whatever. And uh, he gets a laugh and then he starts doing his set and you're like, finally, we can hear... It's like, literally, he's done about 14 minutes at this point. Yeah, yeah, not done a joke. Yeah, there's nothing left. Do you know what I mean? Starts doing his set, and somebody from that table stands up and goes, you are bang out of order. His mum has not been well. And then stormed Oh, for fuck's sake. (laughs) I would say, if you've got a sick mum, don't heckle at comedy shows. If you don't want your mum being referenced, it's one of the worst things you can do, is heckle a comedian. I hope it wasn't one of the bald diseases. (laughs) Yeah, that's why I'm bald. I caught cancer off your (laughs) mum. Turns out chemo's fucking uh, infected. (laughs) Every time it's like your mum, we have chemo together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this happened because I started drinking out of your mum's colostomy bag. <laughs> Turns out some of the chemicals went right through her. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this could be somebody's first episode. You know? <laughs> and last. <laughs> <sighs> wow. This has been a big one, hasn't it? <laughs> I really do. I enjoyed that story uh, so much. We're going on tour. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty of big pots available if you want to come to see us on tour. We're going to <laughs> Liverpool, Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, and London. Yeah, all in May, early May. Yeah. Tickets are available right now on deadmentalkpod.com. Correct. The end. <laughs> I like, I like, um, you're going to say something else. Also, sign up to a Patreon. Uh, our Patreon is uh, patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. Uh-huh. Um, uh, you, for three quid a month, you get an extra episode, which is. <laughs> which are the ones that we consider worse than this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get. <laughs> <laughs> If you, this is too tame for you, <laughs> you're going to fucking You get love access Patreon. to all the extra content that we make, uh, Rob's Punishment set, the Sex Dungeon special, the wrestling special. Loads of shit. You get access to all the dark videos that we watch. And if you want to send us a dark video, send it to 07520-644-931 via WhatsApp only, please. I have stopped responding to Instagram and Twitter messages now because... When I say don't do it, people go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, what a surprise! Our fans it. are cunts. I know you get the fan base you deserve. <laughs> wow, I mean that's a huge slight on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just go. She deserved it. <sighs> wow. Uh, thanks for watching or listening. <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs>